All right, it says we're live, so we'll just wait a few minutes. <laughs> I think that this is closed right now, man. Just waiting for people to join the stream. Oh, we got one person. Nine people. Well, that was quick. Nice. Hello, Lath117. What up? Hello, Richard Grounds. Or we could flip the camera maybe and say hi for a minute. There we go. Hello. What up? <laughs> There it goes back. So what do you guys all up to on a Saturday? Besides watching a couple of dorks. <laughs> What's up, Gardener Earth guy? Hello, Rosemary Dunn. That's a lot of names and stuff. George Farnsworth. We got a woo! Right? That's awesome. So we are checking out an old uh, dying shopping center, grocery store shopping center. We actually went and just finished exploring a uh, completely abandoned shopping center. And uh, awesome. we just finished up not too long ago. So we're going to uh, explore this one here in a minute. Just give another minute or two, maybe another minute. Hunter Tanner wants us to say his name. What up, Hunter? We got 904 CZV. Hello, I like Master Shake. <laughs> Digging the Master Shake avatar. All right, let's let's start poking around. So this is what was this? This is a North Point Village in Mesa, Arizona, and this is actually a shopping center that I, I grew up going to as a kid, but it's been slowly dying over the years. We were unfortunate to miss this. This is the Water and Ice Store. It's it's actually not a business, but they just closed for the day. Thrifty so. ice cream, man. As a kid, this was this was like one of these spots. So yeah, when I actually I used to walk past this water and ice when I was a kid, like on my way to school, and we used to stop and get candy and crap in here, and then sell it on the playground. <laughs> but there's just a lot of stuff empty in here, which is weird because this is a nicer area of town. I want to say that, the Hallmark store that's in the uh, shopping center. Is really nice store <laughs> oh actually yeah we'll see that in a little bit but a hallmark store that i uh, filmed that i did a previous video on is actually in this location We've got brown road animal clinic this is new. this is new smoke shop that will probably be here forever okay well Oh. Yeah, now this is so this is a Schlotsky's in Carvel and the really funny story about this is um, This was actually open when I was in high school a long long time ago. I actually dated a girl that worked here and uh, And then it closed and it was closed for like 10 years I, th I think Eight it's years? opened and closed like seven different times Yeah, it'll <laughs> it'll close and it'll be closed for years and years and years and then it'll reopen again as a Schlotsky's It's very bizarre I think that's Carvel now Awesome. Yeah, they didn't used to always have Carvel, but now they got Carvel. So yeah, we figured we'd just pop over here and check this place out. Like I said, this one's not dead, but it's it's dying, and hopefully I don't get copyright strike for that music that's playing. <laughs> but the one that we just finished exploring uh, earlier today was completely abandoned, and it was pretty good. We got some great footage, so... Oh, don't want to get water dripped on me. But this is one of those like bigger shopping centers that they built in the in the 80s. I think this was built in the 80s, um, and it's just way too big for its own good anymore. Like I think, let's see, what do we got? Hair does it. That's still open. That's been there forever too. That hair place. This I think you to be an oak store i think wasn't this the oak store i'm pretty sure this one was yeah yeah this was an oak furniture store i believe for a long time but yeah you can see the parking lot out there not doing very well there's a uh that right there that when i was growing up as a kid was actually a ponderosa which was really good and i used to love going there and then it became an IHOP, IHOB, 
<laughs> I hob. That's so that's, stupid. Uh, the Ponderosa. My grandpa used to go to that Ponderosa all the yeah. time. And then you've got a McDonald's there that's been there forever that I grew up going to. And then a Taco Bell that's also been there forever. Those are like the most, I think, successful things in the shopping center are those. Well, remember the Blockbuster that was across the street? There was a block. <laughs> we'll get into that because I used to go to that Blockbuster every now and again. But there was a video store in this shopping center that I frequented much more often. Was it Hollywood Video that was here at the corner? Arizona Video and Laser. It was a mom and oh, pop. Right. It was a mom and pop video store. Yeah, here it is. Lockout notice. The Oak Store, 2016. So it's been closed for a few years. Is that more of the? No, this is something else. That looks very clean inside, though. I forget what this was. Well, I say very clean. The, the carpet stained, <laughs> but. It's all relative, right? It's huge compared to some of the stuff we were looking at today. <laughs> it's available, guys, if you want to lease it. And then I believe this Chinese food restaurant's been here for a very long time as well. Yes. As has H&R Block. <laughs> I just read today they're not doing well. And then we've got the uh, fun police here. And these signs are as old. These are old signs. Apache Lake Resort. That's cool. <laughs> but these no bicycle signs, we used to ride our bikes when we were like in fourth grade and flip these signs off when we were kids. <laughs> Man, I don't get back to this shop. This is weird. Like I can remember in high school, like si sitting here. Like smoking cigarettes, trying to figure out what we were gonna do. Like on a Friday night, like we would all congregate in this parking lot and figure out what stupid party we were going to or whatever. You didn't even uh, even have the head shop back then. The head shop. Head shop. Oh no, there was no head shop back then. Yeah, that's that's new. So then right here we have the Bashes, which is a local grocery store chain. I believe they're they're only in Arizona, right? Bashes, they're local. Yes. I don't think they expanded anywhere uh, they, out, of, out of Arizona. They just recently came out of bankruptcy. Yeah, ba Bashes just recently came out of bankruptcy and they've closed a lot of their stores, but I think they're starting to come out of it now. But yeah, look at that parking lot, guys. Super busy. When Eddie Basho ran for governor? Yeah, so the guy that owned Star... Was he the founder or just the owner? Was it his dad that founded it? I think it was his dad that founded it. Yeah, so the, the son of the guy that founded Bashes, his name was Eddie Basho, he tried to run for governor here. More than once, I think. Twice? I just remember the once that my dad was like a Eddie Basho, like... I love, I love that guy. <laughs> Well, your dad owns a business, yeah. and uh, holy crap. Thank you, Michael Lopez. Somebody just sent us a $20 super chat. Ooh, Did I read that right, Michael Lopez? Thank you. Hold on. That, that... I want to say thank you personally. Thank, thank you. you. That's awesome. <laughs> thank you. That will help with gas. <laughs> Sweet. Hey, Mark, look. Roof access. <laughs> Same sign. Same, yeah, we found a similar door earlier today. So, right here is a Hallmark store. Hallmark Gold Crown store that's been here forever. And uh, this is actually one of the stores that was featured in my Hallmark video that I did. So, if you haven't watched that video yet, uh, this is, you can see what the inside of this location looks like. Looks like they're closed for the day. You know I had to check the door. Yeah, did you check the roof access I door? Did. I did. <laughs> it looks like they're closed. What does it say? Please leave any and all large bags. Oh, they're worried about. I got. I thought that was gonna say they were like out of business. Oh, they closed at what? Six. So we just missed it. But this Saturday at four. Monday through Saturday. F oh, never mind. That That's just the post the office. office. Yeah. Uh -huh. There's a post office in there too, a post office location. But I, this, so this Hallmark store has been here since I was a kid and I grew up going to that store. <laughs> Look at that old post office sign. 
That's crusty. It's been there for uh, as long. Well, as I know when I was a little kid, my mom used to send me in here to drop stuff so off at the because they picked they would do mail pick up there, so she would drop me off. Now this, what is this? This is, is this bagel nosh? Yeah, this is bagel nosh. I love bagel nosh. This has been here uh, for a while as well, and I believe it's still. Uh, Chase Hollywood, what do you got here? I loved your video you did on Grossmont Center in La Mesa, California. I love that mall. I love the food center in there. Yes, uh, Aaron McGrath, Hallmark is still around, but they are not doing well. <laughs> Well, Hallmark itself is doing well. The stores are franchises, and uh, they're not doing well. Okay, now this, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but this is an interesting story, and I'm trying to get permission to film in here, but this is a thrift store called Epic Thrift. That When did these open up? Like four years ago? Yeah. They opened up a few years ago, and I think they opened like a dozen stores or so in Arizona, and I think just in Arizona, and they failed miserably, apparently. This particular Epic Thrift location has been closed for a few years and it's still, it's still fully stocked. It's like a full on abandoned thrift store. So cool. And it's completely stocked. And I've been trying to get in contact but I can't get any return phone calls or emails, but I've been trying to get in contact with the landlord because I'd love to go in and film, you know, an abandoned thrift store and see what kind of weird stuff has been sitting in there for a few years. You can see like the, the POS equipment, everything's still in there. And it looks just like a Goodwill. Just like a Goodwill. But if this was the place where you found like that rarest of rare Nintendo games. What you watch, there, there's like, like a box copy. Yeah, so the June, what does it say lockout? June 2016 is when they got locked out. No dumping. <laughs> yeah, there's like a factory sealed like stadium events in there or little <laughs> Samson or something or. <laughs> yeah. I'd be happy with just like a working design Sega CD game knows what's in there just what you can see yep no they weren't very epic Richard a little more eh. <laughs> epic fail yep but yeah once again you can see this place is not very busy the shopping they center at all. replace one of the old signs with a new sign yeah that's a newer one <laughs> That's not the same one. There was an older one over here. And people are still not listening to it at all. What is Edwards Jones? I didn't even notice this was back here. There's a dentist upstairs too. We'll go check out upstairs. This is actually a two-story shopping center, so we'll get to that in a minute. Elevator and breezeway, except for I don't think it works. I think it's locked. That's fancy looking in there. I don't know what that is. So, okay, so over here, when I was a kid, this nail place with the neon was a baseball card trading store called Sports America. Uh, Sports Card Shop, Sports America. And they had a Street Fighter II cabinet, Street Fighter II Championship Edition cabinet in there. Now, right across for this breezeway, right here, was Arizona Video and Laser which was a mom and pop video store that I used to go to all the time as a kid. And they had a Street Fighter II championship art edition arcade cabinet. So we used to go like during the summer, we would ride our bikes up here and go back and forth between Arizona Video and Laser and Sports America that was right there, taking turns, you know, playing Street Fighter II. And then like during the summer on Tuesdays, you could rent Nintendo games for like 50 cents. Cause like the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis were out. So you could rent those. We'll go take a look at that breezeway in a second. Cause it's interesting. But I want to get through there. So, so yeah, there was this was the video store, and it wasn't just this building. It actually it was huge. Like I said, it was videos, video games. They rented laser discs too, which was I think the only place I knew of that rented laser discs. And it it occupied all of this. This um, Genie's Dance School that's right here. For I think it went all the way to where this wood wood panel window is. It was all one big huge mom and pop video store. Yeah, video stores are awesome. I did have one that I was going to up until a few years ago and it closed um, called Paradise Video in Chandler. And they were actually doing okay, but they were forced out of their building because Dollar Tree decided they wanted to go in and the landlord, they gave the landlord an offer they couldn't refuse. Now this used to be an Ace Hardware. And I don't know when this closed because this was open for the longest time. Dude, my hair is a mess from the wind. But this was an Ace Hardware for a very long time. 
Mr. President, tear down this mall. That's funny. So yeah, this was an Ace Hardware store. I love shopping centers like this though, these older style ones that have like, I don't, I don't know what you call these things, the, uh, the, the shade. Awnings? Awnings, like whatever those are. I love that, I love that shit. I love this one too because of the red brick. Like it's all red brick. Like this was a nice shopping center when I was a kid. It's still in decent shape. I mean, all things considered, it's not horrible. Especially for how empty it is. I don't remember what this was. There was a Walgreens in here too at one point, but I don't remember. I feel like they were, oh, the Walgreens. There we go. So that's the thrift store over there. The Epic Thrift that we were looking at. That was a Walgreens when I was a kid. I remember that. Yeah, isn't this amazing? The brick, like, I love the brick work. Like I love the, ch the, the vertical bricks over the windows. When is that? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. It's a little mom and pop pet shop. I think that's new. I wonder what this was. I don't remember. That's what I yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Is that bike locks back there? Like a bike rack? I wonder what this was. Shop? It might have been at one time. Oh, I think there was a bike Maybe shop here. Wasn't there a Schwinn? I think it was a Schwinn. I think like that. Yeah, there was a. Wasn't it Pat Schwinn? Yep. Yep. Oh, and then this is a pho Vietnamese place, which I actually really want to try out because it's been here for a while. But when I was a kid, this was a Peter Piper pizza that I grew up going to like all the time. Played a lot of classic arcade games in there. Double Dragon. Afterburner, Peter Piper. Strider. Every kid loved Peter Piper. So. Yeah, this whole thing. This was all Peter Piper. Now it's a football. It looks. Pr I love Vietnamese food, though. I really do. I bet that place is fantastic because it's been there for a few years. I got a. Mailbox store. This has been here. I don't know if it's been the same one, but there's been a mailbox store here for a very long time. And the cleaner. And this dry cleaner's been here for a very long time as well. This Alta Mesa cleaners. Because I can remember when I first got my driver's license. I didn't have a car, but I had my license, and my mom wouldn't let me use the car unless I did things like picked up her dry cleaning and shit from here, or like picked my sister up from preschool or whatever. Look at that dry clean sign. It's peeling off. It's like, why leave that on there? This is still open, right? Yeah, it's like a closer that's going through. They're just closed. Yeah. Closed four. Oh yeah, there's clothes in here. I'm pretty sure this Mesa Trespass Enforcement Program thing, I think those stickers were put up when I was a kid. <laughs> So I wanna go check out the up, you wanna just walk around the back? Yeah. Cause we can go, that gate was open, so. We're still gonna go upstairs too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We can go back through that breezeway where the stairs are. Man, we used to get into so much trouble back here as kids. <laughs> this is like, I haven't walked back this way really since I was a kid on my bike. This is weird. It's quiet back here though. Hey, hello, David Long, Dave Long. If you're just joining the stream, by the way, I will post this one on my second channel, Mad 8 Productions. I'll post the recording later on. And the great thing about watching live stream recordings on my second uh, vlogging channel, Mad 8 Productions, is it's not monetized, so there won't be any ads. <laughs> How big is this place? It's pretty big. That was kind of a point I was making at the beginning of the the video is this is one of those shopping centers that they they built them in the 80s and then into the 90s that are just you know it's anchored by a grocery store and then a ton of other stuff but it's way too big for its own damn good and it's very i mean the grocery store is still here but as you could we saw through a lot of the tour it's very uh a lot of it's empty 
This was always weird too, and I don't know that this ever got used, but you see how back here, look, there's like storefront back here. I, I don't even remember this. Like, I don't we used to really coming back here. We used to, on our bikes, man, we used to explore. <laughs> We are, what is it, what is it called? North Point Shop? I don't remember exactly what it was called. North Point. North Point Shopping Center in Mesa, Arizona. Yeah, I like that stuff too. The the, the green, the coppery green. That used to be just copper. Yeah. So yeah, this is the uh, back of the... You know what that would look like? Just shine that up. Ooh. Shine what up? Oh, that? Yeah. But you, that's desirable though. People want it to do that. That's called patina. So, so one time, this is the back of the shopping center, right? And the, so, just to kind of give you guys bearings about where we are, a little little earlier when I was talking about Arizona Video and Sports America, this is that breezeway. So, Arizona Video was on this side, Sports America was on this side. This gate fence thing didn't used to be here, and then if you look up there, there's a, there's a second story. So we a couple of times we went up there when we were kids up on that second story balcony and we would go to that Taco Bell that's out there, you know, yeah. and we'd always have like an extra burrito or something. So we thought it was a good idea one time to throw bean burritos <laughs> from up there onto the poor cars that were parked back here. And there were some nice cars parked. We threw onto a Corvette and the guy, I think he worked or saw it or something and called the police and the police came and everything. And somehow we convinced them it wasn't us, but that's you, you. You know what? I just realized you guys were the hooligans that would probably throw burritos at me and my cousin walking by here when I was visiting. Probably. We'll go through that breezeway in a second. I just wanted to see. This looks really old and not. That was like a fire or something happened over here, doesn't it? I think that door is filthy. Ooh. Look, look at how old that trespass enforcement sign is. Like how sun faded it is. Why is it? That's like grease. Is this like the back of a kitchen? Or yeah, something? that's what that looks like. Is like grease. Like a hundred years of like cooking grease. Look at the weather strippings peeling out. What else is back here? Can we see in the... But yeah, it was, I always thought it was weird that these these storefronts had doors on both sides. Dude, that was like a doctor's office or something. Some sort of beds in a legal casino, like in Persona 1, maybe. Yeah, that looks like it was like a dentist's office or something. Let's go open it as a casino. Yeah. Let's go through that uh, breezeway because I want to check out the upstairs. A brewery with an attached gun range. <laughs> now we're talking. Wait, what? Gate oh, these weren't here either. These like, so you can't drive a car through here things. Gates must be locked after entry or exit. So we can go up the creep. Well, there's the stairs that are in the front. I wonder if the elevator works. I don't think this is turned on. Yeah. So let's let's put it to the people in the chat. Do we go up the creepy stairs or the nice clean stairs that are in the front of the shopping center? <laughs> Do you see that? Creepy, 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 creepy flying by. All right, creepy <laughs> stairs. Hopefully, I wonder if it's bright enough in here for me. Oh, it looks like it's lit. There used to be, when I was a kid, I love that hum. Oh, yeah. There used to be doors. Like this used to, but the doors are gone. They took them off the hinges. But this used to be like doors that didn't lock, you know, but shut. I'm guessing they. Do you have a flashlight or do you have a light on your phone? There we go. Oh, does that go around? Oh, that's great. It, it's probably just, hold on, focus on, not the fence, hold on. There we go. 
Yeah, that looks like it's locked, though. I would love to know what's in there. That didn't used to be fenced up either, but I think it's just stairwell underneath. Any security cameras? No. Nope. Neither. Gee, could they be bluffing? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot you could see into people's like Oh, you can't really see in people's backyards from here, but. So yeah, burritos from down here, up here. Sweet view though. Yeah, it is a pretty sweet view, for real. So we used to love coming up here when we were kids. Perfect day to do this. You know? Oh, it's gorgeous out. It's been like a hundred degrees the last couple of days. So I think the high was like 85 or something today. It was gorgeous. This isn't very uh, ADA accessible without the elevators working. Oh my God, there's bathrooms up here. Those are gonna be locked. They probably only give keys to employees. Because, like, the Bashes has bathrooms. Ooh, what's that? It's like this bubble window right here. Yeah, what's in there? I wonder what this is. That's an old door handle. Like, like how, many how many times do you actually see the bubble window like that on the door that's not on a cruise ship? Yeah, that's, ooh, that's awesome focus. There we go. Yeah, that's a weird. It's the only window like that in this whole car. It's very, I have not been, like, up here since I was a kid either. Like, I've been in the shopping center and stuff, but I've had no reason to come up here since I was a kid. And they still keep it up really nice. But there's the, the non-creepy stairs up. There's a few sets of non-creepy. <laughs> How do you have like any kind of medical practice that's on a second floor that has no elevator? <laughs> that, yeah, that doesn't, doesn't seem to... Uh... That's, I don't remember there really being any like thriving businesses up here when I was a kid, you know? There was, I think there was like a karate place and a dentist or something, but it always seems like all of the shopping centers they built like this, where there's like the second floor. Um, the, the stuff on the second floor never does well. That's, I remember the karate place. I went one time with one uh, of my friends that did, uh, actually take one up. Is this the, this looks like a karate, is this it? This is it. And, uh, I mean, that's relatively clean inside. That's actually really nice looking inside. Is there nobody operating in there? There's like recent garbage and stuff and tissues. Like garbage in the garbage can and stuff. Yeah, it does look like a ballet place with the... With the bars. Here's another studio room in there. Yeah, there's a dance studio downstairs, Jeannie's Dance, that's been here. My sister, who's well into her mid-twenties, like went there when she was a kid to Jeannie's Dance downstairs. It's a nice little bench. I don't think that'll support my weight. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that should be like centered on that wall? Like, is that bugging me? <laughs> there you go. Is that more 
it was bugging me. Aesthetically like, it pleasing. Weird. It looked weird. I mean, it's still not Saturn, which is like... So, so whoever owns this dance studio is going to come up here like Monday morning and be like, who the hell moved our bench? <laughs> <laughs> Press one to sit. <laughs> and there's, there's the other. There's Jeannie's dance down there. Other side of the breezeway. How often do you guys see this? The top, the top of signs. See you later, Chase. That is a great view, isn't it? It's awesome. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like some there's some there's a computer on in there. Wonder what this is. But there's there's a PC on in there. I wonder if that's just offices for the dentist that's right here. Well no, because look this is What is that? Like stick on stained glass? Yeah, this is just more of that. But it looks like something's been going on in here. You got some printers. Dude, that almost looks like an acrylic paint or something that was done to do that effect. Yeah. That's like black tape was or something was taken down and then like an acrylic paint to fill it in. And then here's the here's the dentist accepting new patients, apparently. You can't see in there, it's blacked out. They require accessibility. Yeah, they don't require <laughs> ADA accessibility. Good. Then more non creepy stairs. All right, everyone, I think that's going to wrap up the stream. That's the whole. The North Point Village? Is that what it was called? North Point? North Point. North Point Village Shopping Center, I believe. It's in Mesa, Arizona. It's a uh, dying shopping center anchored by a bashes. And one that I grew up going to as a kid. Oh, yeah, you can see the karate sign up there. Karate. Rotting Acres Mall needs a dance studio. That's a good idea. Also, yeah, if you guys had missed the uh, latest episode of Rotting Acres Mall, that's actually available as of this morning on YouTube. So you can check that out as well. Uh, the live streams happen on Friday night, so we did the live stream last night. The recordings uh, gets posted the next day, so that's up there now. Also, there's two new videos that are up covering a uh, dead mall in Laguna Hills, California, if you haven't watched those, one covering the interior and one video covering the exterior. So uh, make sure if you guys haven't checked that out, check that out as well. And also, if you did just join the stream and missed a good chunk of it, you can um, check it out on my, I'll post the recording of this live stream on my second vlogging channel, Matt 8 Productions. Anyways, guys, have a uh, great evening. Do you want to say anything? See you guys. More? See you guys. Good night. Hold on. They can't see you yet. Now they can. All right. Have a good Thanks, night, guys. guys. Bye. Thank you. Uh, keep an eye out for new videos uh, this week.